was that the Volkswagen in front of us. Mark's Tyson always driving like a dick. Officers Dave England and Ash Lane are patrolling in the high-tech blue net car, and its sophisticated technology has bagged something big. Because it was stolen. Has it? Yeah. Dave's being tailed by another cop car, and together they concoct a plan. Yep, so I've come up to the lights now. So I'm going to go out and about and cut, cut, cut in front of him. Yep. How's he going? What? Hold it. Stop, 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 stop. Sorry, the one beyond soldier was going to... Get him behind him, get him behind him. Bring back 600, urgent. Bring back 600, urgent. Yeah, 600, we just had a uh, stolen vehicle uh, just take off on us. Uh, just collided with another car. He's heading uh, east on Main Road East, thanks. A desperate crim is on the run from Officer Dave England. One male driver, Middle Eastern appearance. Um, this details of this car he's crashed into. Makes some inquiry since. The force of the smash has shunted this car up onto the footpath. And now its owner has arrived to deal with the aftermath. Someone hit your car. Your car? So what's happened is a stolen car has crashed into your, into your car. Yeah. It's taken away. So we're going to get your car towed. I'll do a report and uh, I'll keep in contact with you and let you know where we're going with it. Have you got insurance? You don't have insurance? Are you still looking for that car? Yep, we've got police down that way, he went that way, they're looking for it now. But um, it's stolen, so he's not going to stop. We're just going to take some photos of the car as it is at the moment, and then we're going to get it towed. So, um, and, what's that? Yeah, if you're coming around and have a look at the wheel. Have a look at this rear wheel here. The wheel here is all dented. So he's crashed into the back here, but he's pushed the car to the side. Okay. Now Dave Sergeant Andy Oakley has turned up to get the lowdown. So he was initially on that way, on that side, yep. going that way. In, in this lane. Yep. In this lane. And he's given himself an exit route. The exit route was he left a good gap at the front. Yeah, OK. That's smart. Yeah. <laughs> So this car here, what was that, done on a U-turn or? Uh, so he reversed straight into it. So what, drove forward, then reversed into it? Back, then, then uh, hard left. And then we straight just straight down the main road? Right? East on the main road. I've checked that car already, and it's already wanted for um, for other matters. It's to be held for prints, so um, this crook is doing some bad stuff, driving around, uh, running riots, so he needs to be stopped, and that is evident from the way he tried to flee today. Yeah. So now police are on the hunt for a man who will stop at nothing to get away. <laughs> Several days after this stolen car bolted, it's been found in a Footscray laneway. And Sergeant Andy Oakley hopes it will hold the secret to just who exactly was driving it. So they're currently dusting the car for prints. Hopefully from that we're going to find some fingerprints, get some DNA and be able to identify who the offender was. You can see on the back of the car actually, it's not significant damage on this, but there was significant damage to the other car. So hopefully we'll get some photographs of the car as well, which helps when we get this guy. And then once we've identified him, we'll get the prints lifted, identify who he is and then we'll pick him up. So you might get away on the night, you ain't going to get away forever. Sure enough. The forensics team come up with the goods. Okay, the crime scene members have lifted a fingerprint. Hopefully we'll be able to get an ident from that and that'll tell us who the, who the driver was. 
We've also had them swab for DNA on the steering wheel because anyone who touches something, they leave their DNA. So that'll also tell us who the last driver of that car was. So hopefully now it's just a waiting game. We'll get some identification from either the fingerprint or the DNA or both. And then we'll knock on the person's door and give them the bad news. It's bad news indeed for the man who's been arrested and bundled off to court. Well, the gentleman's now been remanded in custody, so he's going to have some time to think about what he's done and consider his options. Maybe make better choices next time after he's done a fair bit of time in custody. We've got him for a number of different offences, stolen cars, the, the evading police, the crashing, and also there's been a further investigation which has identified some burglaries and other crimes. So he's going to be staying there some time thinking about what he's done. Hopefully he'll learn his lesson. <laughs>